You guys, I'm in Tasmania. That's right, I'm at TMAG, the Tasmanian Museum and Art Gallery in Hobart, Tasmania. And apparently every museum in Australia has a dinosaur outside. This is Mutaburosaurus. Once inside, the main gallery was transformed into a whimsical interpretation of Prospero's library from Shakespeare's The Tempest. In the adjacent natural history galleries, there's a bunch of taxidermy specimens like these quolls and this Tasmanian devil, and also this cat, who apparently is famous and on TV, I forget her name, but she scared the crap out of me. And newsflash, Tasmania is an island, so there's lots of boat-related stuff, and the island's close to Antarctica. So here's a mock-up of Antarctica with ice that was cold and wet, and you could touch it. You guys are probably familiar with ice. This is the modern and contemporary galleries with my favorite painting in the entire museum. Kind of looks like a guy sitting on top of a Rothko. So during our workshop, I had some of our participants do Tableau Vivant, which translates literally to living picture. It's a great way to bring the space to life. And yo, check out this gorgeous portrait gallery. There's this awesome statue of Medusa in the middle, right at the moment when her hair started to turn into snakes, and also this painting of four kids who look the same, and one of them's like six and carrying a gun. But also these paintings by John Glover, the famed Australian landscape painter. Check out this amazing serpentine tree. He also painted this, which kind of looks like a fisheye lens. He painted a giant haystack to hide his neighbor's house because he didn't like his neighbor. His neighbor was named Batman and went on to found Melbourne. I'm not making this up. And this is the Bond Gallery, downstairs, in a totally different building. And there are a bunch of natural history specimens, and also this wombat, which was articulated like a T-Rex, which is kind of cool. And right when I thought I was just going to see an elevator, I see the most amazing staircase I've ever seen. Seriously, guys, I am in love with this staircase. I can hang out and check out this staircase pretty much all day. But I didn't, because I wanted to go to the gift shop to check out the bird mugs. Shout out to Museum Hack's resident mug whisperer, Zach Martellucci. And there are birds elsewhere too. And well, where do birds come from? What amazing bird eggs. This case was excellent. Uh -huh. See what I did there? And for the kid and all of us, there was this literal cabinet of curiosities, with drawers you can open and stuff you could play with. And then this might be the coolest thing in the whole museum. It's a display called Young Collector, curated every three or four months by a different kid. This month, it was Lulu, who's age four, and she took her entire collection of penguin stuff and put it on display in the museum. And for the rest of the kids, you could trade in your backpack for one of these discovery backpacks. There are different themes like the ocean and art and life and environment. And inside each bag, there's really cool stuff like books and skulls and games and toys and measuring tapes and globes, all to help you with your exploration. But once again, the best part was the people. For two days, I got to facilitate an audience engagement workshop where we asked staff to step out of their normal roles and test out Museum Hack's toolkit of engagement strategies because we want new audiences to come in the museum and love the place as much as we do and ideally not leave looking like this guy.